Hello everyone, welcome to rosamaria.tv. This is Rosa Maria. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to schedule multiple meetings using one doodle poll. Most recently, I created a poll to schedule multiple interviews, but I didn't want to send out several doodles. I just wanted to send out one doodle so that I can get everybody's availability and then confirm the meeting. You can use one doodle to schedule meetings with your internal team or a close group of colleagues. In the doodle that I'm going to show you how to create, it allows you to set the privacy settings so that people who complete the doodle don't see who has completed the doodle. So you won't see their, uh, their names in the doodle and you won't see their availability. Before we continue with the tutorial, I want to take a moment to ask you to subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so that you get notified when we post up another video. Another video is going to come up on Doodle. It's Doodle Meet is still in its testing phase and so once it's out we'll create a tutorial on, on how to use Meet Me. Let's get started. So before we start, I want to let you know that I've already done another Doodle tutorial and that one is more in depth on how you create Doodles, a time zone enabled one, and then it walks you through the process of doing that. So the link will be below and um, I recommend that you watch that one too. So to get started, I recommend that you create an account and you sign up with a Doodle. It's free uh, and you can use it indefinitely. I haven't needed to pay for the paid version, but if you are a solopreneur and you have a small business, it may be something that you should consider so you can check out the plans. I am going to log in. If you do not want to create an account, you can just start a Doodle create a doodle poll by putting in a name here um, or hitting up here this create a doodle. You do not need an account to create a doodle, but I do highly recommend it because it's a way to centralize um, all of your doodles. Let's log in. When you log in, you will arrive to the dashboard. This is what it looks like. And um, like I said, I will create another video once this Meet Me Quick Calendars is up and out of its testing phase. For now, we can create a doodle by coming here or up here. And we're gonna create a meeting. Like I had mentioned, I created a doodle for a summer internship program where we're, we were going to be interviewing multiple people, but I just didn't want to be sending a doodle to each individual person. So I just sent one doodle, made it efficient. I got my scheduling done within like 10 minutes. Step one really is to name your doodle. I'm just creating a very generic name. Now you can select what type of meeting, if it's going to be online, you can go down, it offers different features. I'm going to say that it mine is going to be a Zoom meeting. I always recommend that you add a note to your doodle just in case somebody shares your doodle but doesn't share the context. That way every time somebody comes to your link they can read what this is about and have some context before they fill it out. So then we'll hit continue, then we'll go to step two. Here, for example, if I wanted to do all of my interviews during one week at a specific time, I would select that one week. If I wanted to do them only on one or two days, then I could do that. This time around, we did them in two days. We were aiming for one day, but we had to accommodate a different time for another person. But for example, if I only want to do three days, I select the three days and then I can add times. If I want to do the same time, if I only have three interviews, maybe I want to do them all at noon so that I, it's on my mind, I can do that and I just select the time. Maybe 9 to 10 or 10 to 11. But if I need different times for each day, then I would hit here 
you notice that 10 to 11 came up for all of them. But now, maybe I'm open from 11 to 12. It'll automatically populate that one hour because it's noticing that you created um, these the first ones based on one hour increments. So maybe over here, I'm going to do 2 p.m. One of the most important feature of Doodle is that it lets you set it up so it's time zone enabled. This is super important. I highly recommend that you get into the habit of always sending a time zone enabled Doodle. It is so frustrating to get a big Doodle with a bunch of time frames and then you don't know what time zone you're considering. This is especially important if you work across different time zones. I work across all US time zones. There are times that I get some doodles that are not time zone enabled and I have to make the assumption of what their time zone is. When I'm not in a good mood, <laughs> I email them. Sometimes I just leave a note in the doodle, completed this doodle based on Pacific times. And then I put it, the responsibility on them. Always enable your times, your doodles, please. Once you have, um, in the previous tutorial that I had done that will be linked below, I go deeper into this um, time zone aspect of a doodle, but just know that you come here, you click on it, and you can change it, right? It goes by the largest city next to you. Mine is LA, so I'm selecting LA. After you do that, we're going to go to settings. This is the most important part of the doodle when it comes to visibility, what you want people who are completing this doodle to do. Because we selected a few dates and few times, and what you want to do is limit the number of people who can select the particular time, we're going to use this one. And it, it really is first come, first serve. So once somebody comes, once they fill out the doodle, they select one time, right? And that time is no longer available to the next person who shows up to complete the doodle. And so that this is what makes this doodle possible. So you can, um, you can use it to schedule multiple meetings. And hiding it. This is particularly important if... For me, like conducting interviews, I don't want the interviewees to know each other, right? I don't need to do that because we don't know who we're going to select and anything. So if you wanted to schedule multiple meetings with community partners, but you didn't want people to know who's being interviewed, you do a hidden poll. Same thing with um, just any group that you don't necessarily think they need to know who else is in the pool of being interviewed or in a meeting or participating in an event. If you do have an internal meeting, you don't have to hide it because then it's an internal. Everybody knows that there's going to be this meeting. So choose your best judgment. In the, uh, in the previous tutorial that I did, I went deeper into this, so I recommend you watch it. So now that we've selected that, we're going to do confirm. It's going to take us back to this page. So we've selected three dates. We've offered five times. We've selected our time zone. Now we're going to hit continue. Here, you're going to put in your name and an email so that people could contact you in case they have a question. And um, maybe they're like, I'm not going to fill it out because I'm going to be traveling or please move forward without me. I'm not going to participate. Once you complete the Doodle, the Doodle platform will send you two emails. So one will be a link to the admin. It's going to be an admin link that lets you come back to the doodle to make adjustments. So you can change, you can add more times and maybe change the, the dates, add more dates, things like that. And then it will also send you a link with the participant link. And that's this one right here, right? 
usually when I sent out a doodle, I just sent out this link. I copy it and I paste it in an email and send it out to people with the context. And I recommend that method first, but you are given the option that you can just add people's emails and doodle will send an email. Uh, a doodle email asking people to participate. I think um, sending out an email is fine as long as your doodle has context in it and that people are expecting a doodle to come through at a particular time or at least expecting it to come on a certain day. If not, I would just sent the link. So here is your doodle. This is what it appears. It's saying you're having a Zoom meeting. Here's your note. Here's your time zone. And this is um, from, from my view. So it tells me the dates, the times, and how many people have um, responded to the doodle. And if I was in uh, East Coast time, I could come and select it. Select, um, let me see, New York maybe. Yes, New York is available, and it would convert my times into Eastern. Let's go back to LA time. So that's pretty awesome. So let me show you what it's going to look like. Incognito. So here I have maybe I sent it out to a group of people, and. Joanne selected 10 a.m. 10 on the 16th. So Joanne can come back to the poll if she wanted to. And you see that this is now blocked off. So Joanne already selected this, this time frame, so it's blocked off. So if another person now comes, they can't select it. These are the only available options. So, for example, Joanne and then Maria came and she wanted to schedule her interview at 11. So then let's go back to this poll. And every time somebody completes a poll, I get an email notifying with the person who completed this poll, right? So then when you come back to your administrative doodle, Let's update. You see who has responded. Mike, Maria, and Joe Anne. So now that you have a response for each one, now it's just your responsibility to send out meeting invites. Um, you can send out a you know a meeting invite through Outlook or Gmail doesn't matter maybe just a confirmation email you know your meeting has been scheduled and you put it on them to you know put it on their calendars um in my case i you know sent out an email asking them to complete this doodle and then and then told them that once i got their availability i would send out a confirmation meeting invite through outlook that's exactly what i did it took me like less than 15 minutes to schedule four people and it was out of my inbox and my to-do list. So this is a really good way for you to schedule several meetings with multiple people. It doesn't have to be an interview. If you are an entrepreneur, you can sit down every Monday and create a doodle for the week. And um, especially if meetings come through, if you're going to take meetings that week, you can create a doodle. You have identified the times that you're going to leave open for meetings. And uh, you have that link saved on your computer or on your phone or on whatever web to do app you have. And if somebody says, hey, I want to meet with you, all you have to do is, you know, share the link uh, so I would recommend definitely to um, watch the other do doodle video tutorial and subscribe I hope that this tutorial has been helpful um, leave any questions that you have in the comment section have a good day and uh, I'll see you in the next video